Morning, Tokiyami. Good morning, Hawks. We have an interview in a few hours, so make sure you return the call you didn't get to yesterday and finish the reports for the agency. Ah, uh, oh, come on. It's still early. Why are you so worried? We have all day for that stuff. <sighs> no, we don't have all day. I'll be leaving soon, you know, for the wedding. What? <sighs> Not a wedding. Do I know them? Let me guess, is it one of your old classmates? Uh, I knew you didn't check your mail. How many times have I told you to... You know what? Now is not the time. Hawks, go to your office. On your desk, there is a stack of unopened mail. In that stack is an envelope with a heart sticker on the back. Open it. You'll want to see it. As your friend, I suggest you read it immediately. Why so cryptic, kiddo? <laughs> ah, fine. I'll go read this letter, but don't think for one second I'm reading any of that other mail. <sighs> no, I suppose you wouldn't do your job and answer your mail. You know me so well, buddy. Hey, if it's an invitation to a party, I'm sure I'll join you. See you later, Takayami. Uh, aha! Here it is. <laughs> well, of course I didn't see it. It was hidden under all this paperwork. <laughs> I'd never find it there. Uh, what? No. What the fu- It can't be. It's only been... Less than a year. How could she- And with that asshole? <laughs> no. Like I'd let you get away with this one, baby bird. Damn it. I really should have read the invitation sooner. Oh, it's gonna be really fucking awkward showing up to her wedding like this, Kiko. Fuck it. I can't let her marry that jerk. He's not even that great. Low-level pro hero. How can he think he's even good enough for her? Plus, he's got nothing on me. I'll just land on the balcony and talk some sense into her. <coughs> nothing to worry about. Yeah. Hey, you songbird. Where do you- <coughs> Hey! You just threw a vase at me! Great aim, bait! Oh, wait! Don't throw anything else. I'm sorry if I scared you. And here I was, thinking you'd be happy to see me. Wait! Don't walk out! Songbird, stop, please! Why should you stop? You should stop because... Oh, come on. Don't look at me like that. Can't you see why I'm here? I guess I needed to come here and ask... Is this really what you want? <laughs> He's an asshole. Come on, baby bird. What do you mean at least you can trust him? You can trust me! Paris? You're still upset about that? I told you, nothing happened! She was the number two pro hero in Europe. Well, sure, she wanted a piece of the wingman. I mean, look at me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, take it easy, baby bird. Don't want to hurt this pretty face. I'm joking, I'm joking. Come on, stop trying to walk away. I really want to talk about this. <sighs> because... Because you're all I think about. Even before I got this stupid invitation... Thanks for that, by the way. I... I just feel like everything in my life is second best since we... You know, I can't even remember why we broke up anymore. You really think that? You really thought that I wanted other women? Are you serious? I guess I really messed up if you thought that. I thought it was because we rarely saw each other. Both of us being pro heroes and running our own agencies. I want to talk about this. It matters to me. I dare to show up on your wedding day unannounced because I still love you. Oh, don't even lie and say you don't love me too. Why send me this invitation, huh? Why? Bullshit. 
You sent it because deep down inside you wanted me here. You wanted me to show up and tell you how much I care. You wanted me to get jealous. You wanted to see how much this invitation hurt me. So guess what? Now you get exactly what you wished for. Are you happy? Do you want to know how reading this killed me? I couldn't breathe seeing your name as the bride. <sighs> tell me to go away. I want to accept silence. Say something. Tell me why you sent me this invitation. What? Now you're mad because I didn't show up sooner? I... I... It was on my desk and covered with reports. I came as soon as I read it. I knew I couldn't let things end this way. I'll say it again. If you don't want me here, tell me to go away. See? You can't say it and I just can't let you get married to someone else. Looking at you standing there in that dress. So beautiful and for someone other than me. I can't let him have my dream. I've given up too much already. Tell me to stop at any point and I will, but I can't help wanting to come closer to you. To touch the flowers in your hair. To graze my fingertips on your cheek as I look into your sparkling eyes and I can't help but wish, but wish you were my bride. Oh, please don't cry, songbird. Let me wipe these tears. You're still everything to me. How could you not know? I hate myself right now for not fixing this sooner. I just thought you'd realize what a complete asshole that guy you're trying to marry is, and we'd make up like always. After some time, I got a little nervous, but I just kept telling myself, Don't worry, Kigo. She'll be back any day now. She'll stomp in, act like a brat, Demand you apologize, and then once again you can make up. Then you can rock her world like you always do. <laughs> but instead, I get this invitation. How do you think I feel? <laughs> well, if you're not sure, I guess I'll just have to show you. Can I? Can I show you how I feel? It's a yes or a no answer. Yes, I can. Or no, I can't. Make your decision. Yes. Good girl. Can you feel how much you mean to me? How much I love you. How I'm incomplete without you. Birds bond for life. My feelings for you scared me so much when we first got together because I knew this. But I put them aside because I knew deep down you will always be the only one for me. I knew that no matter what, I could never let you go. I could never find my home that didn't include you in it. Please, don't do this. Please don't marry him. You don't owe him anything. You owe yourself happiness. You owe yourself some honesty as well. Who cares what anyone thinks? Plus, <laughs> your mother loves me. <laughs> she thinks. What? She said that? Ugh, well, ouch, Mom. <laughs> but she's wrong. Man, I could have sworn she'd be on my side. What did you tell her? I broke your heart. Uh-huh. Yeah, I get why she hates me. Not gonna lie, I kinda hate me too now. I never wanted to hurt you, kiddo. 
The last person in this world I'd ever want to disappoint or make feel unloved. I promise I'll do better. I'll promise I'll make up for all this lost time. Just, just run away with me. <laughs> I've never been more serious about anything in my life. I know I'm not always the most serious guy, but I would never joke about something like this. Run away with me. I'll ask Tokiyami to inform everyone that the bride has been stolen away by a handsome angel of love. <laughs> I'm being serious. So, what's your answer? Wait, let me give you another kiss to help you make up your mind. <laughs> That was an amazing fucking kiss, babe. I can't even remember what we were talking about. Uh, I'm kidding. But seriously, tell me. Will you come with me? Will you be mine again? You realize that once you say yes, I'm literally never going to let you go. Like, ever. You will? Hell yeah. Come on, let's grab some of that cake before we leave. <laughs> of course I'm not joking. I never joke about cake. What's the flavor? Chocolate! Oh, hell yeah. Come on. Here, just hold my hand. We can run to the other room and grab some. It's not like you can return it. Stop worrying so much and hold my hand. That's much better. Link our fingers, just like that. Alright, I'm just gonna take this entire top layer. <laughs> Not like you'll need it in a year or anything. Oh shit, I think that's our cue to leave. Let's exit from this balcony. Tell me again how you didn't want me to show up and steal you away. Yet you chose to get married in a place with so many balcony entrances. <laughs> it's almost as if you wanted me here the whole time. But if that's the case, how could I ever deny my baby bird's wishes? Here, put this arm around my neck. Hold the cake with your other hand. <laughs> Can't lose that, now can we? Now, I'll just wrap my arms all over your gorgeous body. Just like this. Hmm, I miss this perfect body. D anyway, hold on tight. I'll get us out of here quickly. Mmm. I love it when you hold on to me so tightly. <laughs> uh, acting so nervous. Has it been so long since we've flown like this? You know I'd never let anything happen to you. You're the most precious person to me in the whole world. I plan on reminding you and every inch of that body about my touch. But first things first, let me call Tokiyami. Hey, Tokiyami, buddy! I... What did you mean, what did I do now? She's missing! Well, can you really call it missing when I've got her in my arms? What did you expect me to do? Just let her marry someone else? I didn't think so. I mean, you were the one who told me to look at that invitation, so... Whose fault is it really? <laughs> uh, be your pal, and uh, let everyone know that she won't be making it to the wedding. Uh, where are we? Uh, about 200 feet over the city, uh, heading towards my apartment. Haha! <laughs> Thanks for being a great friend, as usual. I owe you one. Well, I owe you more than one, but we'll just add this one to the list, huh? Later! Now, where were we? Oh yeah, heading to my place, so I continue to show you exactly how much I love you. Plus... That's a nice dress. We'll have to put it to good use someday soon. You like that idea? Me too. Mm. I hope you weaves enjoyed this Runaway Bride audio roleplay featuring Hawks and Tokiyami. Please be a good friend like Tokiyami and hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. It's 100% free and turns you into a certified weeb seven days a week. Would you have run away with Hawks? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to hear the extra spicy ending to this audio, please feel free to visit my Patreon via the link in the video, 
the description below the video or the pinned comment in the comment section. Anyways, that's enough for me. My name is Bizarre, and I'll see you weebs in the next video. Cue the outro. He's bizarre. He's bizarre. He's bizarre. Bizarre steps to his mic to make his little sounds. The weaves jump up and cheer. Hit subscribe and stick around. ASMR most times with Minecraft on the side. Some modded games with Deku there to soothe you when you cry. Go ahead, close your eyes. Kick back and put him on. And get even more bizarre. Need a friendly pal to get you through the night? Well, get headphones, take a listen, and maybe hit subscribe. He's bizarre.